Mm. I think I need a moment alone with these. See you in five. How am I at 5,000 subscribers? I am honestly speechless. I cannot believe that 5,000 people have decided to subscribe to my channel. So thank you to each and every single one of you that have subscribed because you like my content, you think that I'm okay to hang around with, all of that sort of stuff. I wish I could thank you all face to face individually, but obviously that's impossible because there's 5,000 of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Holly in the Sky. Welcome if you are new. Today's video is another Universal Yarns box. So we are going to eat all the snack. Before I jump into the good stuff, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you never miss a video from me. I put out videos every Wednesday and I make au pair videos and travel videos. We are going to the Netherlands. Pinchada. Pinchachas, Pinchachas, I think, paprika flavored, and it's cute little shapes. That smells so good. Ooh, like orange. That is a very interesting flavor. It's like very airy, very light, almost like cheese and bacon ball texture like the flaky crisp type i like it i think i'm gonna say it's yeah the original cheese biscuits i don't know why i did that i saw that there was an extra packet and i still sniffed the box oh oh that's not what i expected them to look like they smells like cheese i'm gonna enjoy these i love cheese <laughs> I'm not sharing these with anyone. This is a yum. It's really good. I've just realized that it's also got raspberry in it, which is that chewy thing that I just ate. Ooh, yum. Next up from the same brand is more original cheese biscuits, but these are just mini cheese crisps. So no raspberry. Oh, I'm not sharing these either. I haven't even tried it. They're so cute. <laughs> Cheers. not sharing these these are my favorite love the raspberry but that's more like sophisticated and sometimes I don't want to be sophisticated I just want to be picking out on some cheese crackers and these are the biscuits for that in case you didn't know that's a yum lightly spiced Dutch cookies with peanut rasp and sugar oh I can already smell them Oh, that smells like gingerbread. Oh, that smells good. I'm ready. Get in me. Mm. Cheers. This is a yum too. Netherlands, I'm enjoying you. I'm enjoying eating you. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome food. Yum. Zat, zatch, zatch wagons. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about the smell of those. Truck, little truck wagons. Wait, there's two different types. <laughs> Get to try two. Cheers. <laughs> to be honest, this one doesn't really taste like anything, but I like gummy and it's like chewy, so can't go wrong with that. Slightly concerned that this one might be like coffee or something. Like a latte. Now I'm just not a caffeine person. I don't know what that is. Like coffee drop, maybe? That's a no. Is that like a licorice? That can go back in there. Not trying to pronounce that word. Cadillacus. Wine gum. Mate, met fruit smug. If it tastes like wine, I'm down. Is it 
like sweet wine, like the kind of wine that you drink when you're in Australia anyway, when you turn 18 and you can't really handle, oh gosh, smell those. Yeah. But yeah, with the taste buds of an 18 year old, that's me. Ooh, yes, I'm ready. Cadillacs. Oh. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, it's pronouncing that really silly before. <laughs> like Caledelic. <laughs> and it's Cadillacs because it's the car. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> This is a yum. I like both of these. They're the texture of like, the don't chop the dinosaur daddy. Adverts. Cadillacs. I quit. <laughs> Stroop waffles. Delicious cookies from Holland. Wait, I think I saw the preview for this and I know what I'm in for. I'm gonna like it. It's chocolate and caramel and biscuit. <gasps> oh, hallelujah. I'm not sharing this either. I'm not sharing this whole box. Screw it. I'm keeping the whole thing for myself. Yum. Yum, it's mine. Not sharing. Done. I'm keeping it. It's yum. I'm moving there. I'm going. It's not happening. Moving out of the USA, I'm going straight to Netherlands for this snack. Orange milk chocolate. This one, you guys know if you've watched any of my other ones that I'm not a fan of orange chocolate, but my hopes are high with this box. I can try to enjoy it. Aha, sucker. Ooh, that cute little chocolate dish. Cheers. It's good. It's not like full of orange, it's just got crispy orange bits in it. And that I can live with. It's amazing. Yum. We are up to our yum bag. And we have one, an orange one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's the most variety of snacks we've had in a while. Holland hops, hoppies since 1892. It's hard. It's hard candy. It's not bad. The first bit, I was like, oh, is this a latte? And then I chewed on it and it was sweeter. So that's going to be a yeah. The bowl. This is also hard. Ew. I'm not a fan of the, it's a bit sour. Mm. That is the disgustingest thing I've ever tasted. Oh, that is, I just spat that all in there. Good one. Oh, I don't know what the hell that was, but it was not good. I'm gonna eat this now, chewy milk. I'm not a fan of milk, but. Anything is better than that. This is reminding me of my childhood. <laughs> Saving my mouth from that horrible, sour, zang zangy, tangy, disgustingness that I just crunched into. This, on the other hand, milk delight. Milky delight. Just choose soft, gets rid of any of that hard horridness. You know what? Pause. Just wait one second. I'm really not happy. You know why I'm really not happy? I will tell you why I'm really not happy. I feel really betrayed about that sour thing. Everything else is so nice and soft and chewy and cheesy and just yummy. It's so nice. And then you get that mother fudger in there and it tastes disgusting. And it's like, there's no warning. It looks innocent. It's a hard candy. I ate a hard candy. And then you get that mother fudgy. Mother fudgy. You get that in there to like knock out your taste buds. Like that's not cool, universal yums. Not cool. At least put a warning on there. And yes, if you did put it in the book, my bad for not reading the book because I like to be surprised about the things I'm eating, but still, that 
betrayed me. I don't trust this box anymore. Back to the milk stick. This is a yum. Mm, cappuccino bowl. Oh, I don't really want to. I knew the coffee thing was coming up. I can't do it. That's a yuck for me. So there's only two things in this whole box that I don't like yet, but we can still be disappointed with this one. This one is a hazelnut flavor, so it's gonna be hard to be disappointed. This is amazing. That was heavenly, divine. And now we have another one. Ah! Crispy hazelnut. They made it even better. This is even better than the green one. What an awesome thing to finish up this box on. Okay, so we've reached the end of our Universal Yums box. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're from the Netherlands, tell me what snack was maybe missing from this box that you think I absolutely should have tried. And tell me if you're not from the Netherlands, whether you've tried any of these snacks in the comments below, because I would be loving to know. Before I get onto the clue for next month's box, box? can't talk the next month's box I just want to say be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it next month there'll be dragons and firework displays you'll hear bagpipes and carolers singing Vasily Vanoche I think that is how you say that when the holidays roll around it's always more fun to celebrate this special season with everyone Vasily Vanoche Vasily Vanoche Vasily Vanoche Vasily Vanoche and a happy new year. <laughs>